So just like previous examples here, um, where we did map and reduce, um, let's say in this example, uh, you know, I need more data in this case. So let's play around with the 73 rows. So let's say 73 rows here. And I'm going to close this. Let's go to 73 rows here. Let's say I'm only interested in students that got a grade higher than a 90. Okay, so let's go here. Now that this data came back, I can go here now and I can say filter. In fact, what I should do is I will should filter it first. I'm going to say here uh, let A grade, let's say everybody that's got an A, and we're going to say here E dot filter and say for E the uh, what was the grade the grade was called ABG is greater than a 90 uh, I'll say here uh, call this excellent grades this is going to return us all the data that met this criteria. I'll then go here instead of using E, I'm only interested in only the A grades, which will then be in here. And I'll get the excellent grades criteria here because all the filter happened here already. This one now, of course, I don't want the length of everything in E. I want the length of excellent grades. Okay, because this array will only have, let's say, 15 rows because 15 were excellent. This will now do a count, and I'll say summary here. And I'll say here number of students, and I'll put here the length here that we calculated. Don't forget to end it with a curly bracket because we're printing out an object. So now this should return out of the 73 rows only the students that have an average greater than 90. And then at the end, of course, we will display that information, meaning that the summary of uh, the reduce here. Let's run it. Let's see, report JSON. Okay, got a 95 average here and 14 students met that criteria. Just to see it, just to make sure it's actually working, we believe it, I'm gonna say here, console log, excellent grades. That should be 14 students that we see. Oh, report JSON. That looks like about 14 students, I think.